Hey guys and welcome back. This is Arian and in this tutorial I'm gonna give you a quick tour on Petrix 24. As you can see on the left there are so many options so we will not be able to cover all of them so I will just walk you through some of them. First of all the feed which is like the Facebook feed or LinkedIn feed which shows you all notifications and posts of others in your team. Next tab is chats and calls which may say like it's like messenger so it, it uh, controls your communication with other parties. By clicking on new here you can see that you can create a group chat or video conference. Now going back to our home page next tab is calendar which shows you all the activities and the meetings and appointments you are committed to and in order to create you can just head to create here and choose whether you want to create an event or task or you can just head to the day that you are interested in double click on it then you will be able to add an event next tab is tasks and projects and it shows you all the tasks that are supposed to be accomplished by you and here to create a task you can do the same you can just go to the drop down menu and choose whether you want to create a task from scratch or task using template so if you are going to use task using template you have to have to you have to get or to to possess some templates from all templates so if we chose task from scratch you can see that you need to insert some information like task name and assignee and deadline and so on and so forth and once you are done you can just click on add task so let's just write task one and add now if we went back to our page you can see that this task has been added successfully and you can navigate between different views like you can go to deadline view which which sorts tasks based on their deadline you can also drag and drop your task between different titles you can also choose the planner view calendar view and finally gantt view So Gantt view shows you all the deadlines of different tasks in one chart so that you can see if there is any overlap between different tasks. You can also extend different duration of tasks like this by dragging from the terminal of the task. Next tab is the automation tab from which you can create any automation and by automation I mean I mean that you can create a, a trigger that once it's activated a specific sequence of actions will be automatically applied or activated as well so if I clicked on your workflow for example you can see that we will have uh, a panel from uh, or, or a menu from which you can create your uh, automation from scratch next tab is the company tab which shows you like a workflow through which you can choose or decide from your teammates or divide work among your teammates so some of them will be managers some of them will be like head departments and some of them will be just employees so you can just write or draw an infrastructure of your company from this menu and finally from crm menu you can control your deals so here you can create a deal from this drop down menu and you can also go to a specific stage click on the plus sign where you will be able to create the deal under this title so let's say deal one for example and you need to just specify the the amount let's say one thousand dollars then i will click on save and after saving you can see that the total amount of the of the deals in each stage is written you can also drag each deal to different stages so if I clicked or if, if I dragged and drop like this you will find that there is some real-time adjustment in the total cost or the total value of each stage so you don't need to refresh your page or you don't need to um, do anything it's just updated uh, at the same time you can also see that there is an amazing feature here 
which is the automation rules through which you can apply automations to your deals so that the, the sequence of steps will happen from its own self without your intervention and here in the free version you can see that you are you are only limited to five automation rules so if you want more you can just upgrade to different plans so this is pretty much it and that's it for this video guys so if you are interested in more crm tools and platforms make sure to subscribe to our own channel thank you so much for watching and see you in more tutorials until then take care and goodbye